Take a look at these guys. Ooh. <laughs> There's one. Ooh, there, there he is. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Anthony, Long Island Fish Guy here. And on today's video, my buddy Rich from Country Critters sent me a text. And so they got a new shipment in and got some pretty exotic fish. So I came over here to check out what they got and we're gonna go see right now. If you are not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other content like this. All right, guys, let's see what they got here. Whoa! Hoplo catfish. I made a care guide about these catfish. One of my favorite catfish of all time. These are the brown hoplo catfish. Great fish. It's been a while since I actually bought some new hoplo catfish, so maybe I'll actually go home with one or two of these guys. We'll see. Got some waru right here. Looks like there's actually a waru pair. There's another one right over there. These guys look pretty nice. Whoa, take a look at these guys. There's a little bit of glare here, but those are the, the I believe they're called the Rocket Gar. Pretty cool. They're not actually in the, the Gar family, but they're, uh, they sometimes call them the Ujar Gar. Very interesting looking fish, pretty cool. I have always also loved these Corridor Sturbi. They're really dope looking. I love the way that the designs are on their bodies. And then they also have the uh, that gold, like the, the on the pectoral fins. There's some nice Geophagus Hermensis. Look at these guys. Really nice. Look at these guys. This is salt water. Yo! Hey, what's up, Rich? Not much, man. Now where are they? They're so cool, dude. I sold two this morning. Oh yeah? Fair stump. Oh wow. There So those fish are actually freshwater balenies. Very cool fish are typically actually in the salt water category, but these are actually very special top hat balenies. Absolutely insane, man. Richard's just telling me about these guys. We just fed them some mice this shrimp and they were going berserk for this stuff. Super cool fish. I'm definitely gonna have to go home with some of them, but let's continue seeing what else Country Critters has. Nice looking peacock bass. Little guys. I can never tell what species of peacock bass these guys are when they're too small. We've got some nice big silver arowanas up there. We've got a nice hybrid black diamond stingray. I also actually learned recently that a lot of at least the stingrays that you'll find at country critters are actually tank rays that the actual owner or some a friend of the owner breeds stingrays himself and brings them here to the store to sell them. So a lot of fish stores, a lot of times what you'll see is they are imported stingrays that are actually wild caught. And a lot of times you see wild caught stingrays, they're not used to eating, let's say, frozen shrimp or frozen foods. So they're a little bit harder to get onto those types of foods. You'll have to start feeding live and kind of wean them off of it. It's better to get tank raised stingrays because you don't have to put up with those issues. And also, if they might have internal parasites as well. So definitely something to keep in mind for all you people who might be looking to get some freshwater stingrays. And Country Critters is always known for having a lot of freshwater stingrays on deck. Ooh. <laughs> datnoid, baby. I've been losing a lot of datnoids in crazy ways recently. But I love my datnoids. Got a few in here, a couple big boys, a couple bigger ones. So guys, Rick actually just showed me that this fish right here, this one, is actually a full saltwater baleni. It's a little bit different in color, obviously, but that is also literally in the same species, uh, the same type of category as the one that we just looked at that was full freshwater. Look at this eel. 
super personable. I just moved up here and it kind of moved back. Now it's kind of checking me out a little bit. Kind of like my eel I have home. This is a moray eel, a type of moray eel. And uh, kind of like the moray eel I have in my house, which again, the moray eel I have in my house is a tiger moray eel. And it is actually a fully freshwater fish. It's kind of cool seeing the types of fish that you can get that are mainly saltwater typically, but you can also get them as a freshwater fish as well. Kind of like the eel, the moray eel, kind of like the balenies. And there's a lot of other fish that you can get that are in that type of species and category as well. Oh. All right guys, so we picked up some fish from uh, Country Critters, these guys. Oof, you guys probably know what I got already by the title and thumbnail of the video, but you guys just wait to see what I do with these guys in a fish tank. I'm super excited uh, to get them into quarantine. Let's go ahead and uh, start moving. And right here, we're back in the fish room, guys. If you are new to my channel, this is my new fish room. Me and my wife, we just moved into here a few months ago. I brought all my fish tanks down to this unfinished part of the area, and I'm really building out this aquarium, uh, fish room, whatever you want to call it. I got a bunch of different tanks set up right now, which we're going to be taking a look at that one very soon. That's a quarantine tank down there. That's the new tank. I need to show a lot of you guys, but I actually had a little bit of an issue in there. There was a little bit of a tragedy that happened, which we'll be seeing in the next upcoming videos. We got a lot of different aquariums down here with a lot to show you guys. I probably should do a Round the Island update, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until we have the, the 125 that's right in this spot. It's going to go right here across from the 75 gallon aquarium, which houses the channel favorite, Georgie. But let's take a look at the fish we picked up. First off guys, I'm a big fan of the Fluval Aquasky LEDs. I have them on all of my aquariums. This tank has like a cheap Amazon light, but it does the job. There's no real plants in this aquarium and it's you kind of can't even see any fish in here, but there are fish in here. I picked up those freshwater balenies. Incredible fish. Uh, let's see if we can find one. Now these guys hide a lot, but they will come out as well, obviously during feeding time, but also if they'll actually see me come down here, you know, their tank light might not be on, but I'll turn on the lights down here in the aquarium room and they'll actually pop out. I really can't find these guys right now. There's one. Ooh, there, there he is. All right, so you guys kind of can see it. That's the female over there. These are true freshwater fish. Balenies typically are saltwater species, but these specific ones are freshwater. Really cool, really display incredible personalities when they're out and about. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this was a little bit of an impulse purchase. I really don't have any long-term plans for this fish just yet. It's a pretty unique fish. It's extremely, extremely rare, but we're gonna have to make some tanks work. I've kind of realized now that things are kind of coming to fruition here in the fish room, that I am having a little bit of stocking issues for some of my aquariums. Some, you know, I got a tank full of corridors down there, but there are some bigger cichlids that are kind of getting bigger. I have some true parrot cichlids in there that are getting bigger. They kind of, can't really live in there that much longer. I have a lot of decisions to make, but I do believe that the 125 coming down here is gonna make that a little bit better. If you guys do wanna see more content about the freshwater baleni, I know I really didn't show you that much, but they've been hiding out a lot because they're in a new aquarium with new lights and everything like that, so they're just hiding out a lot more. Um, but if you guys do wanna see more content about those balenis, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. And if you guys did like this video, like the video, because you know when I see those likes, it makes me nice and happy. But that's gonna be it for this video, and if you did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you already subscribed, but most importantly, don't forget to fish on.